But we can't continue to just play church for you. Church will start tomorrow, Monday, when you go to your marketplace. That's church for you. Here you come to receive impartation and learn the principles, but there is where church is for you. A member of this church who has gone through a school of faith, you know that. A marketplace, the, the strategy God gave us as a ministry is the marketplace. You have a pulpit that cannot be contested with you. But what have you been doing with it? Send us to the mountains to hunt. Send hunters to go and hunt for men. Send fishers to go and fish for men. Send you out there as a nurse to go and nurse people into his kingdom. And all of that's what it's all about. Church is not keeping you within the four walls and all of you are light, shining your light and then you say, eh, let this little light of mine of shine. As, as it has been shining, what has it achieved? You are light, I'm light. So we keep blinding ourselves. And we go out there, we can't see anymore because we're already blinded. Whereas the dark world that needs your light, you are not shining there. I tell you, I illustrate to you when you receive all this prosperity, what next? I'm sure some of you are old enough, won't forget my illustrations. When you get all this money, what next? Some of you are just believing God for one room. God, just give me my own room. I'm, I'm tired of this cutting. When you get the one room and you begin to blow, what happens? You move to a one-bedroom apartment. You move to two. When you have the house, what next? You want another one. What next? You want another one. What else? Those things is not what Christ came to die for as it were. And then we keep doing the same thing over and over, over and over, the same program. Hey, Pastor, why are we not doing programs? Hey, hey, why we, we, we don't do programs in this church. What has the program done? You do a program, you spend millions, fleece you, then you start all over again, start taxing you for money. Tax. What has the program produced? Has it changed the nation? On Sunday, we don't bring uh, com with comedians that are filling our pulpits. We do programs, so today we have comedy hour, we have this hour, just to keep tickling you, and yet you are not growing. You are not changing. I'm not talking of you, I'm sure you know that. You bring Gigolo, somebody says he wants to come and be a special guest minister, a uh, song minister, and then he sings for 10 minutes, he's looking for 250,000, 500,000 for 10 minutes of worship. I'll put his cassette and we'll hear it. Hello? No apologies to anybody. Oh, but pastor is their gifting, is their talent. Uh, I know it's their gifting. So who gave them the gift? Go and use it for those who want to organize a birthday party and collect money. Not to come and minister to God's people. I'm sure this is not what you want to hear this morning. Am I spoiling your mood? I didn't become a Christian because I felt it would deprive me of doing certain things. And I love the flesh. I love the flesh. I love sin more than that. So I didn't become a Christian. And when Christ arrested me and I became a Christian, I know that I can't be like that. I can't continue the same old way of life. How will you be comfortable? You say you are carrying God and you are sinning? You redefine sin. Oh, there's grace. Grace covers you. You sleep with a woman, come to the old pulpit and pray. You're already dead. Come to the pulpit to minister. You're already dead. You dug your grave. The devil is waiting for the right moment to push you in and have the reputation among men. It doesn't matter. It's God's counsel that matters. Can I have an amen?